Hey, eyes and shine, Dr. Allen here, and today we're gonna walk you through how to order prescription glasses online like a pro. Ordering glasses online is, of course, an affordable and convenient way to get new glasses, but I honestly see a lot of people make mistakes, and that results in them getting glasses that don't fit well and in lenses that don't feel quite right, and nobody wants that. So, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the whole process with some professional insights so that you get the most comfortable, best fitting, and most affordable eyewear that you can get while shopping for glasses online. Now, being a practicing optometrist myself, I see a huge value in purchasing glasses in person from a local shop, and I always encourage you to support a local business when you can. But I can't deny that shopping for glasses online continues to be a much more affordable option. And so, with that, no matter where you choose to shop, I want to help you see your very best. And for today's video, we're going to be ordering glasses online through today's video sponsor, which is that of Zenny Optical. But no matter where you choose to shop for glasses, this guide should help you through the process. First, start by having a current glasses prescription from your doctor. This will have the appropriate measurements for the glasses powers, including for farsightedness, nearsightedness, and astigmatism. If you don't have a current prescription, then make an appointment with your local eye doctor. Now, when you first start looking at frames here online, I think you can easily get overwhelmed by how many options there are. So I'm gonna share some tips on how to really narrow things down so that you can find a good fitting pair of glasses a whole lot easier. To start, I like to narrow things down by gender. So I'm gonna open up and look at the men's frames. From there, you can start to look at the different shapes and designs of the frames. And that's something that I love about Zenny is they have a huge selection of different shapes, sizes, and colors, right? It's not just black and brown frames. Here they have cool red frames, they have cool blue frames, and they even have glow-in-the-dark glasses. And yes, that 10-year-old version of me is super happy in these. One tool I really like and I think can really help you here is Zenny's virtual try-on tool. This type of technology has come a long ways and honestly is pretty impressive how good it is. I like this feature for two reasons. First is, of course, because it lets you try on glasses virtually and get an idea of how you may look with different types of glasses on. And secondly, because this technology will tell you what type of face shape you have. And that's something I honestly struggled with. I never knew for a long time if I had more of a box shape or a diamond shape, right? Sometimes it's hard to know, but this technology will help you figure that out. So now that we know I have more of a boxy rectangular face, we can narrow things down a little bit further. As a general rule of thumb, you always wanna pick a shape of a glasses that's kind of contrasted against your face shape. So if you have more of a boxy, kind of square-shaped face like mine, then something more of a rounder-shaped frame is gonna be a better choice. Or if you have a more of a rounder face, then a more boxy shaped frame is gonna fit and complement a little bit better. Again, that's just a rule of thumb, so feel free to certainly look around and try different things if you wish. One quick side tip here is that if you're somebody whose glasses frames usually end up sliding down your nose like this and you find that annoying, then perhaps looking for a pair of glasses that have nose pads on them those might work a little bit better because nose pads we can adjust a lot easier and they're less likely to slide down your face. Okay, so here I found a frame I really like, but will it fit my face? Will it be too big? Will it be too small? These are important questions because while yes, large oversized frames may be trendy right now, they don't work for everybody. If you get really big glasses and they don't fit correctly, not only will they kind of look odd, but your vision through those glasses may not be what your doctor intended with their prescription. So here, I personally like to look at the frame size. Now glasses from Zenny here try to be a little bit different in that they try to simplify the process by making the glasses either small, medium, or large sizes. It makes it easier for future ordering. But I like to look at the bottom of the web page here and you can find the frame measurements. These are the different sizes uh, of the frame components so that you can kind of match them to existing pairs of glasses that you may have. If you have a pair of glasses that you've purchased elsewhere and you know fit really well, opening up the temple side or somewhere on the glasses frame, you should find a set of three numbers. These numbers refer to the lens width, the bridge or the distance between the lenses over the nose, and then the temple, which is the arm that extends back here behind the ear. 
I try to match these numbers as closely as I can because then these new glasses should fit pretty close to what has worked for me in the past. Okay, so from here, I found a frame that looks good to me. So let's select this frame and enter in my prescription and choose the lenses. So for this tutorial, let's input everything as a new customer. I'm gonna select prescription glasses, new customer, and then we have options of single vision, progressives, or bifocals. Progressives are just like bifocals, except they are a gradient lens that blends the line of the bifocal in with the rest of the glasses, so you can't see the line. But I personally do not wear progressives or bifocals yet, so I'm gonna select single vision. Here we need to enter in our prescription for the power of our glasses. You can, of course, just take a photo of your prescription if you have that. You can also upload a virtual image of your prescription if you have that available, or you can just enter it in manually, which is what I'm gonna do here quickly, just so I can point out a few important things that you'll wanna watch out for if you're just typing it in. The first question that you have here is your PD or pupillary distance. That's the distance between your right pupil and your left pupil and is necessary to get an accurate, good fitting pair of glasses. Usually this is written on your glasses prescription, but if it's not, that is okay because you can use Zenny's app that they provide here that'll help you find your PD. In my experience, it is pretty accurate. It is FDA approved, but I do recommend running it maybe two or three times and just taking the average. But again, in my experience, it's pretty accurate and has worked for me. Now here on this next screen, you can input the powers of your lenses. The important thing I'll just mention is that look at the plus and minus signs in front of your lens powers. Those are important not to mix up. And Zenny has thankfully highlighted these plus and minus signs in red, just so it's easier to tell. A plus sign in front of your lenses is meant to correct for farsightedness, or if you're nearsighted like me, you will have a minus sign in front of the powers of those lenses. Again, you do not want to mix these up. If you happen to have a prism value in your prescription, you can enter it in here, Otherwise, you just put in your birth date and then confirm that your prescription is accurate. Okay, so now we are in lens territory. This is where a lot of people get hung up and they're not quite sure what to invest in, if it's really gonna be worth it. So let me walk you through it and make some sense of it all. First, we have just clear lenses, which are the standard kind of just clear lenses you'd have for everyday use. They have Zenni's Blocks lenses, which is their signature blue light filtering lens, which also filters out UV light. Then they have photochromic lenses, which are the glasses that are clear indoors, and then they turn into sunglasses when you step outdoors. They even have Transitions branded photochromic lenses available, which is pretty cool. And then they have just the traditional sunglasses lens. One other option that you may not be aware of are Zenni's specialty lenses. These are FL41 tinted migraine lenses. These are a rose tinted kind of colored lens that helps some people with migraines. And this can come in either a 20%, a 50%, or an 80% tint, depending on how dark of a lens you wanna be looking through. It's something that you can't find everywhere and is kind of cool that they offer this. All right, so now with whatever lens type you have chosen, we still have a few more decisions to make. Just to make it easy, I'm gonna select the Blox blue light lenses and I'm gonna stick with just their standard Blox virtually clear lenses. And now you're gonna see an option for what is called your lens index. With the lens index options, you're gonna see some numbers starting at 1.50 and getting higher. With a higher number, such as 1.61 to 1.67, and all the way up to a 1.74, this higher index means that the lenses you'll have in your glasses will be thinner and lighter. Not only will the lenses look thinner on the side of the glasses, but they'll be more comfortable and less heavy on your face. Also, having a higher index, thinner lens may result in less distortions and feelings of motion sickness while you're wearing the glasses. I personally think having a higher index lens is good for any prescription, but is definitely a must if you have a high nearsighted prescription like myself or anybody who has a higher prescription of minus three or worse. Then it will help you a lot. Next up are our options for anti-reflective coatings. This is something that I honestly do strongly recommend everybody consider investing in. Anti-reflective coatings will help reduce the glare and reduce any reflections coming off of the surface of the lenses, so super important. 
The very basic anti-reflective they have here is pretty decent. However, the very basic anti-reflectives also increase the amount of kind of oils and how dirt attracts to the lens. And so if you can, I do recommend going up and getting the oil resistant type of anti-reflective coating. Plus, uh, you know, as far as these type of technologies go, Zenni happens to have probably one of the most affordable options out there. And that's about it. From here, we're basically all set, except for maybe choosing some extra peripheral things, such as getting clip-on sunglasses, maybe a cool lens case to carry your glasses in, or even getting a cool laser engraving of your name or whatever you want on the side of your glasses, which is a kind of a cool touch. From here, I hope that this guide of how to buy glasses online really does help you out. And remember that all of these tips really should work and apply for any glasses that you buy online, especially with uh, the two most important ones being finding a pair of glasses that fit really well, and secondly, uh, picking high quality lenses. I think those two will go a long way. To check out the updated frame selection and prices, I will put links to Zenny's web store in the description below. And if you have any other questions about picking up glasses frames or lenses, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I wanna say thank you so much for watching, keep an eye on it, and we'll see you in that next video. Peace.